What's up guys? Today I'm here with Denetis and I'm going to talk about bioactive enclosures. So let's start with the definition of bioactive. Bioactive is a self-sustained ecosystem. It's basically an enclosure for animals with plants and populations of microorganisms that serve to break down all the waste products of the environment. So why would it be good to have a bioactive enclosure? In a bioactive enclosure, we'll most likely have springtails and isopods. Animals and plants are gonna produce waste. This waste is gonna be broken down by isopods and springtails. With them breaking it down, it's gonna be easier for the bacteria to break it down even further and produce nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, all elements that the plants need to grow. So what isopods should I put inside my enclosure? Uh, not all the isopod species are good for bioactive enclosures, especially with chameleons. Uh, the ones that I find working best are the zebras and the Florida fast. I use the zebras because they're an arboreal species, so they like to climb on my plants and eat the waste from the leaves as well. And they're pretty big, so in case you put it in a baby enclosure, there's no risk of being eaten. And they have big batches of babies. Uh, they can have 200 plus babies. They're not as fast as other species are reproducing, but with these big batches, the population grows very fast. The Florida fast is more of a boring species. Uh, they like it wet, kind of swampy, but they're great to clean deep into the soil. They also help aerating the soil, which is very beneficial for your plants. Now, what kind of springtails should I put inside my enclosure? So as far as springtails, there's mainly two kinds. There's a lot of species, but we're gonna focus on these two. There is a temperate and there is a tropical. For the temperate, I wouldn't recommend it inside a chameleon enclosure since they like the environment to be super wet and uh, very humid. They cannot climb on dry surfaces. For this reason, I would suggest using the tropical ones since they do well in both humid and dry enclosures. Now let's talk about the substrate. There is really two options. You can make it yourself or you can buy it. To make it yourself, I can give you the recipe for the ABG, which is two parts coconut fiber, two parts tree fern fiber, two parts orchid bark, one part peat moss, one part charcoal, and lastly, uh, one part leaf litter. You can also find pre-made ones online on uh, amphibian websites or Josh's Frogs or the Biodude, which is my favorite personally. When I buy from the Biodude, I usually get terra firma. It is awesome for chameleons. It holds the shape and the humidity control is just perfect. For a 24 by 24 by 48 enclosure, you will need three bags of 36 quarts each. I hope you learned something from this video and uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You can find all my social media down below uh, in the description and I'll see you next week. By plants and the animal itself. What are you doing, dude?